that lead. And I think that Australia is the most beautiful place in the world to learn leadership, because if you can lead here, you can lead anywhere. Because you really have to earn your leadership here. How does that work? When you look at the origins of my co-authors, Jim and Barry's work, um, they interviewed leaders like you've seen on stage today. They interviewed 550 leaders initially for two hours each, and they asked them the simple question, what are you doing when you're getting great results as a leader? They started with 1,100 hours of data, blank sheet, and these five practices came out. Engagement. We now know engagement is one of the core factors of long-term profitability. What are all the factors that create engagement? Turns out that leadership is 37%. In fact, those five practices I just mentioned to you accounts for 37% of engagement. Do you know what the next highest figure is? It's not even a percent. Traveling, because your credibility is everything in leadership. It's absolutely everything. It's why it's the first foundation we cover. You don't have credibility, you've got nothing. What's this interesting gap between how we see ourselves, think of ourselves, and the way others see us? And how do we manage that? Because that's kind of a big deal in leadership. Your job as a leader is to make your people shine. Or as Celia in the book says, if I'm your leader, what can I, help, what can I do to help you rock at what you do? Book. What we've seen in Australia and New Zealand particularly is model a way and enable others to act really seriously matter. Um, and people, we've, we've done an informal survey after informal survey. This is why people leave their jobs. I don't trust my boss and I'm not getting given, given opportunities. I'm not getting space and freedom. I'm out of here. They're way more important than salary, those two. And you need to be really, really good at those two. And it's too easy in the noise of our lives and our leadership to lose our way on those two things. Twelve frogs sit in a log and three decide to jump off. How many are left? Of course, the answer is 12, because there's a massive difference between deciding to jump off and actually jumping off. Thank you.